25 yards by DeBru Thompson here at Dayton Municipal Stadium. Matt Dillard off to an early 6 0. He made that extra point. And later, as Rick McIntosh scored a touchdown. And it looked like Dillard would stretch it out, but that caught stand has given Merrill Lance, and now they have it still. Second down and seven at the two yard line of Lauderdale. Dillard makes first visit to territory. The pitch to Matt Lynn looking deep, and then he throws deep, overthrows Lee Graham. And drilled as he threw the football. Yeah, I tried to invite Dillard, right? Uh, a Garrelin traditionally throws the ball that much either. They, they'll probably throw the ball eight or ten times max, but they mix things up a little bit, get the Panthers out because they really don't match up with uh, Dillard. Dillard is very big, much in uh, the Mustard Island, so they're going to break their offense pattern a little bit and almost shot there as he feet on the field, Maurice Green. Brett Hogg, like a tight end, check into the lineup for him, called the play for quarterback Jay Penn is a senior, 162, faces a big, they try to keep the drive, Penn gets the protection, now that time, still looks funny, throws it to Allery Graham, and Matt Graham is dragged down, 38 yard line, Anthony McGill makes that for Dillard, bring up a fourth and three, and Jerry Odoms is a punt team in the ball game, let's see if really punts from the eight yard line. As we mentioned, this is a moral thing anyway for Merritt Island. Ten deep in their own territory, that great goal line. And they did get the football to get out into their territory. Right now with this uh, possible punt, they're going to have the first uh, deep uh, in their territory. And they'll have a long way to get points on the ball. Shift by Merritt Island. Apparently, Son Dillard crossed the zone. Official throw late. Time that'll be caught by the D. As they can call it on the for an intentional uh, team offside. And they're going to call start against the And that is not unusual. They're saying that an intentional to draw a team off high school, that'll be called out. Well, the difference, too, is once you're on, and you get in the neutral, it's an automatic. Uh, in, in pro football, you have a contact. What are the officials for the call? Ball foul. Ball start. The offense. Still four sets. Elite procedure. But again, in school football, if a defender, if a guy on defense just gets a neutral zone, doesn't he makes contact, it's an automatic. But on that occasion, it was illegal procedures moved. Over on, drew the defender eyes. Fourth down and eight, and Rob will be punting this. Pretty good rush, but he gets away. Line drive kick out of the 15 yard line. Safety Brunson, and it will go to work from the 17 yard line. Seven drove it from its one all the way to 38, but the drive falls out, and with 52 seconds of the a 10 Ford. The offense has really haven't done a great deep game. The two big play kickoff return from that intercept by Rick Scott, which set a touchdown. And the one that uh, Dillard will throw was really their play, but uh, with a, a Mustang, Mary Allen have got nothing room now. They've got a small game. First down at the 15 yard line. Coming back reverse, Demetrius Thompson can't get loose. He's dragged down at the 20 yard line. Merritt Island gets good defense by Low Fink. And Tony Toro, number 80. On reverse here, you see uh, the reverse of first, but just a good team defense by Allen. Low Fink leading to make the tackle right. They weren't going to get fooled, and Dillard up uh, three yards, three, four yards on that reverse. Second down from the 20, they up the middle, full Tosh. Richard has to the 20 yard line where it'll be third down and two. Down to the field to. A like, couple of you saw the illegal you called against Maryland that uh, kick situation. Times coaches will talk to him before the ball game and tell him that that's a run in kicking. Coach fails to tell that that's what he's going to do. Nine times out of ten, it, it, it's called a procedure rather than the element. Larry? Okay. The Odom's been around. He dropped that note. Joe Ryder at any rate. And third and two for Dillard. Now his legs turning close to a first down. Off the yard line, I believe. Now did pick up down for Dillard. Wins weighs 180 pounds, but as we mentioned, about 290 yards in effort against Auburn day last game. Right here, a determined uh, of Mustangs throwing. He just did pick the first down. You keep talking about this game. The guys in the legs move. They get into those aisles. He was able to bend her back a drop to, and that was enough for that. First from the 20 yard line. A little bit running wide. For Fort Lauderdale, Dillard, that's McEnough again. Stop Claire, but not for the Eight, seven yards on that effort. And Richard Max has been a big weapon for that. And it's a surprise because coming into the game, he's only had 280 yards. As we look at the uh, total offense that's generated via the rest, much more uh, yard, many more yards than running the football. And on one over there, opposite. Second and three up the middle. And the fullback roll. That's about five. And then the first down for Florida Dillard. Claire makes another four. Barrett Island's must. Now Dillard, I think it started at the yard line, has picked up first downs. Barrett Island's hope is to remove a big play. Dillard's uh, off. Make them 
to go all the way down. It's the hope that they might stake, they might get one, they might put the football on the ground. They have to keep working, keep hanging the defense if they hope to stop what amounts to not here. Dillard, but Dillard very easy right now, just pound all right straight ahead. At First down 10 from the one yard line, a little equipment problem. Just mounds. Shears helps him with it, and that snap off. Cedric should all signals to give his puck. Finding running room on the right side. Well, this mounds, and he's been out of bounds at about the five yard line. Little mission from Fort McClurd, and for the second, Harry Graham makes a tough saving tackle. Otis Mounds just run away from Eric, uh, the quarterback here. You know, it's uh, the same play uh, the one Reddens have made so faint. A uh, little bit first step by the pack, and then he picks a caravan of offense. Who 260 or set in front of him. Mounds, once he gets in, clearing the way for him down the sideline. And these aren't quite as good skins, but they are very from 26, first 10, and that'll be a fall for there does the big tag. Lyman Stoddart got a head the rest of the offense. It's down in 15 of the officials. Well, a minute ago, talked about two. the big play, a mistake. Uh, did come up with a but here they all come back and mistake. So that's only the only hope Merritt Island. Still foul. Joe Ryder Myers, the referee for this Class 4 A championship game. Fall yeah. It was a quick start. I think they should call that a start, because that was a head start of the else. First 15 from the 30, leading 13. Shafir's quick up, throws the pattern. He's got him making the catch to Reed, and he's thrown out of bounds at a 15 yard line. Reed Sr., 560 pounder, beat four for Dillard, and on the picked up a 12 yards. Reed comes out of the slot, simply a button hook, and then starting toward the slot. Shafir up with a very nice pass, and Looks like they can throw the ball any time. They just choose not very often. It has forced them to throw very often. It's a very good foot. In fact, Oda told me earlier in the Papano Eel, the best team he'd see here. And think be the best they would play. There's a quick pitch to Josh running right seven yard to the 18. And it'll be a 2 for Jeff Humberg. Made a stop for the Rhode Island Mustangs. Nice effort by Humberg. They're uh, getting out. So he have the speed of that. Bat, but he, he got out to make the tackle. sideline play. Now they're going to have to get the play off. And then two from the yard line of Max. Seven minutes, five o'clock running in the center. 13 numbered over Merida. Split backs behind Pierce. Pierce, quick pitch on Mounds gets away. Packers gets the first four to the 12. What a move by Pierce around the seven to the first down. You're lying the word nifty. Two Mustangs had a corralled it, but he just, but see, do gave make it away, jumped out. Now you see it has been so effective here long out of the tailback and just a, a breath right there. They want to get him out, uh, let him use the ability. And then it's right there, he's uh, two Mustangs at uh, Outfox. I to love those 60-yard runs. That was a five-yard that's worth the price. Of. First down at the 13. McIntosh stops for a loss. Right? That's John Brand, 68. And who's played well in the We've called his name a bit. Brand, 6-4-pound junior. Tough to play nose at 8-4. Uh, but it's even those when no one blocked her, no one touched him. Uh, perhaps he was a stunt right there. Uh, there was a, a hand laid on him. He hustled to make the backfield, but uh, a lot of effort when you're 184 pounds. Because typically the nose got three guys pounding him, and most of the time those are 240, 200 pound guys. Second down, and he won the 14 yards. Three steps right on anyone to throw. No wandering around. Completed pass. And out of bounds is the tight rank Sanders. I believe he gained any play. We'll see where they forward progress. Scott Lowe for the stop, and they're going to see him at the 18 yard line. So that's also four on the pass. They were some pressure on Shafiq there. He took a look, uh, didn't like what he could pick up. And I uh, do one of his receivers actually went up his third or fourth piece there. From the about the yard line, third 16. They have to get for a first step. There's over the middle, Creed in and out of the hand of Barbara Johnny McReed. And Millard's going to try the goal to try to lead up to 16. Heading into his London Bowl. Junior, number one. He kicked a point earlier today, also had a X blocked. Rhode Island, very good at block kick. They blocked the place kicks in this year. And the block punch played a goal in their win. Gainesville View Hall. Oh, he the got it. Hard attack is blocked. Ball is. It around the 28 yard but Merrill once again the bullet. I believe that either Rink or Haywood got one. It might have been scouting. It was Mallory Larry who almost picked all up on the perfect. He'd still be running. Just let's see if we can 
on the right screen, I believe it's low feet. Just get great action from the out. He used his speed right there. It is low feet. Mallory Graham doubles the football, picked it up cleanly. One touchdown. That certainly would have found one back in this. Still 13. 508 to go in the field. Jay put the throw under pressure deep. And it is going to be in court. Three or four men had a chat and no one came up. The intended was Maurice Graham. And Jay Pett really hammered through the pass. Under pressure, but didn't seem like he had the arm strength all that far down. And it was a jump, he mentioned. And Maurice Graham, luckily, away from uh, uh, the Diller, or number 44, Jack Hallman. Here you see the Meridot numbers. A little too balanced between Merit and its opponents. The Diller dominating its opponents almost to second and ten. Smith through Mallory Graham. He gets a couple of yards before he is up on a good tackle. Andy McGill, the junior on safety. Back three to the third yard line. This uh, strong have a difficult job. We killed earlier running uh, Anselton from behind being like a linebacker. He's had great speed when he needs to turn out, but he's got some intensity and, and toughness as well right there making the tie line scrimmage. Brown and seven island, four minutes and seconds, clock run first half. Thirteen nothing, Fort Lyle Dillard lead. They score touchdowns in the first pen under Menace pressure will be the 20 yard line. He lines up with uh, nine men at the line. Uh, there's no man. They're coming at it man for man on the receive just so much pressure. Just had him out and right there. An excellent uh, call. Um, number three, the first man there. Five, 215 pound junior. The coaches he is going to be one of the best in Florida. Nick Buckner will punt Rhode Island. And Robinson is a deep for Diller. Brock line drive. Jackson's going to make the catch at field. A shirt tail was made for Merrillai. Toby Tobe got down there quick in. Very happy that they will have tear away. That's right. He went for dear life. Right? But, uh, Tober got down in a hurry. With three and a half minutes in the game. Or rather the first. I'm sorry. We'll see if Lynn can hold back Dillard one time. Dillard 13 nothing. They're stopped on a goal line. He had a field goal attempt blocked. Merritt Island has kept the two scores. Clock immediately when the ball plays, so we're down three. It's ten seconds. Shafiq over the middle. He's his man. That's Zeus. Make a catch. Brian Clare. But not for him to the 30-yard line. 10-yard pickup. Just Bruce. But the kids in the blue jerseys. That ribbon pass play. Shafir's just drilled it. To his wife, Isaac Bruce. The kid's outstanding. Even six one wide receiver. But it's a brilliant play. Offended by him. But when you throw those kites, uh, up top. Net for Dillard at the 5-yard line. Quick opener, that to the 20, to the 15-yard line. Again, Mary Graham for the third time tonight. Sitch down with a talent open field. Downs on the quick hitter. And a quick count. Dillard comes out there in the quick handoff. And off to the halfback. That's probably one of the plays they ever drew up when football was in it. But they quickly with it. With the snap, caught him off guard. Hit that kind of speed was gone. To go in the head again in scoring very first down at the three yard line. The fears gives it all. That's Mac touchdown, but on the play, Wire threw it and Wire throws it. Not to ten, it's offense, but let's wait and see. Well, it's nine times out of ten. Touchdown back from Dillard, and it'll be down in 20 yard go. Well, that was what makes they were hoping it would happen. There's home on the offense, repeat first down. And uh, bending, 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 tried to break on that break, but the penalty broke the touchdown. That was a big break for that, a very disappointing uh, penalty for the Panthers. Well, now first down, two-yard line, they move out of the infraction. Leaping leap a touchdown. Isaac Bruce, a big catch in the end zone and did 19 nothing. This will be caught. Six passes coming into the field. He is a terrific receiver prospect. This is a big surprise. Realize these kids get the football separately, but Cedric Shafir's really gets the ball to the end zone over to uh, Mustangers. And I makes the circus touchdown. Great station. See, that's hard to the kid with six options, 400. That's for the whole, including the playoffs. But they're coming out here tonight like uh, put the ball up 20, 30 times every Friday night. Isaac Bruce, initially, I've got him with exceptions, 26 yards. He got caught 16 in 13, and he has <laughs> a very big play in this one for the Florida Dillard Panthers. And Dillard's going to call time. Perhaps they will do with the score, nothing. In fact, Cedric Shears come to the sideline. We'll see what they're going to do. Well, Shafir 
Uh, sprints back about a yard drop, takes a two right actually. So the receiver then comes back. Bruce, but he did a very fine job being off. The secondary taking a peek right, the poise to stand up and drill the foot deep in the end zone to Isaac Bruce. The versatility shown us in their offense to number scouting report. Expect us to pound the football north else with their running games. It's like these kids can pass the ball the time they want to as well. Dillard's number two. Sure. On the keeper, one and makes it. Barely got the football of the goal line. Shafir's on the two-point version. And with two, two seconds to go, Dillard is up nothing. There are a real hole uh, Mr. Merritt out trailing a team. Dillard, 20 minutes in the first half. They were cut out for him. Uh, not the second half, but there are two minutes of this first half right here. They get people. Uh, Merritt Allen does and tries to this football. Be Dillard is utility that they get the football back before the half is over. Bomb in. Two of the go in the first half. Dillard scored on the kickoff return. Demetrius Thompson, the five yarder. Merritt Island's first, I believe their second an interception by Dillard Scott. That set up play 23 yard drive. Down Mackin from 14 yards. Then Merritt Island make the big play. Stay in the game. A goal line locked field goal. Touchdown called back against Dillard. Dillard penalty pass from Shafir Bruce. Made it 21 up kickoff is going to take on Maurice Graham at about yard line and Maurice get to the 25 yard line before he is racked up by number seven Cedric Scott, a man who made the pass reception in the first. Third Island has a minute few seconds with which I to uh, Dillard and try to get something on the hanging in there after a fine quick with this quarter 13, but uh, that really puts them in. They're in the wish one. Graham is now the quick in the wishbone. He's Middleton and a bump Middleton. Spins to the 30s line. He gets 11 and a first down. It's been the best offense weapon for Merritt Island so far in the ball game. Yeah, the bump got around severe there by some big guys. But wishbone attack is kind of attack that points on the in a hurry. We got 21 to nothing, but got to do what they do. One minute and seconds left. Merritt Island is not hurrying up. Now the left guard, it's a false start. Hardy, guilty of a an infraction. That'll be back at the third and make it first and 15. With 17 to the left, the first half. 20, Fort Lauderdale leading Merritt. The municipal in Daytona Beach. A nice place to go. On the off home game, Still first. Game, along with a Mesker club, school football team, the Daytona Beach area, are able to utilize, and as we mentioned this again next year, the high school champions. A classification later here. Three last, including the three A you have seen here. Up the middle, it's middle to a couple of yards. And the second and third clock runs inside to go in the first. Mitchell oh, Odom's attitude for Merritt Allen. It's just get in the locker room and gets any worse. Leggins and try and re come out here in the second trying to avoid a situation where his quarterback get hit off up the ball, up with a turnover, give Dillard another to score before the half. Even though it's 21 up. You know, you're a quality team for Island. They have a chance back in this ball game in the second half. Now they're content just to lock run out. The thing for Merritt Island, it's not a comforting spot. In 13 this year, no one has scored some points on Fort Lauderdale. Dillard. Pompano scored 20 in one, 18 in the other. No one else scored more than a dozen. This is a very Dillard defense. Running inside seconds to go in the half. Maurice Grell signals for Merritt Island. On the door to back keeper, had a lot of running. But someone had to break the news to Perkins, the defend, because he grabbed Maurice Graham. Graham headed for Dick. Couple of play. It'll be down in 11 with Perkins left in the front. I believe that will be the play of the first half of this ball game. Very next one point. We can talk about Dillard, but their defense is outgoing. You know, we have not prayed Dillard defense enough. Now we're going to be in the new half. Round to regroup. Dillard. Asking themselves, it was a 24-minute ball still to play. The championship is not in, but it is looking good. The team from Fort Lauderdale, as they head for room, leading the Mellon Mustang 21 nothing. We'll be back the halftime show at the Stadium in Daytona after this time out, watching the Class 4 High School Football Championship game of Florida on Sports.